prove that Gone with the Wind wasn't one of the best movies of all times, we gathered four different pieces of evidence to help prove our thesis. For our first form of evidence, we did a youth poll. We asked 30 students, 15 boys, and 15 girls if they thought Gone with the Wind was one of the best movies ever. Here's what they said. As you can see, only one of the girls said yes, Gone with the Wind should be considered one of the greatest movies ever. 93% of the group said no, it shouldn't. And for the boys, all of them said no. None of them thought that Gone with the Wind was one of the greatest movies of all time. Our second form of evidence was the adult poll. We asked 15 men and 15 women if they thought Gone with the Wind was one of the greatest movies of all time. Here are the results. For the women, 7 out of 15 said yes, Gone with the Wind should be considered one of the best movies ever. 53.3% of the group said no, it shouldn't. For the men, 2 out of 15 said that Gone with the Wind should be considered one of the greatest movies of all time. 86.6% .6 of the group said that it shouldn't. Our next piece of evidence is our interviews. We asked people what they disliked about the movie. Here's what they said. Inaccuracies, in a single word. I just don't like the way slavery was portrayed as almost a fun thing. I'm not crazy about Scarlett O'Hara being shown to be this strong, wonderful woman, which she isn't. And any movie that says the Klan or the good guys, I have a severe problem. The one was not one of the greatest movies ever because it was very stereotypical and the characters were not portrayed properly. And it was very boring. It could have been summed up in two hours instead of four. Another way to help prove our thesis is to compare Gone with the Wind to other movies about that time period. Take The Civil War by Ken Burns, a documentary with pictures, interviews, and narrations describing what it was like during and after the war, without all the melodrama that was in Gone with the Wind. A movie like The Red Badge of Courage can also be compared to Gone with the Wind, because even though the author of the book that the movie was based off of didn't have a first-hand experience of war, it was still filled with many realistic sequences from a Union soldier's perspective. And for our counter-argument, we interviewed people who said that Gone with the Wind should be considered one of the best movies ever. Here's what they said. I think Gone with the Wind is one of the best films ever made because it does per it does show the bring, southern bring side the of the war, which not a lot of movies have ever done that. And also, it's a you know it's it's a great story, and it does tie into the Civil War overall. And I think the acting was superb. I just it's a good movie. Um, reasons why I think Gone with the Wind is one of the greatest movies ever made. Well, one reason is it's, it's, it's stood the test of time. Uh, it's still a very popular movie, uh, well over 70 years after its making. Uh, it's still popular on TV, it still gets high ratings when it appears on TV. If it does uh, uh, show in a theater, uh, theaters are, sh uh, are, are sold out. Um, memorabilia for Gone with the Wind is still a popular item, so I think that's, that's one of the major reasons why I think Gone with the Wind is uh, a popular movie. Uh, one of the other reasons is the American Film Institute, not too long ago, uh, American Film Institute is an institution that uh, kind of oversees movies, uh, uh, ranks them, uh, pr pr preserves them, and they ranked Gone with the Wind the number six greatest movie of all time. If you think about all the movies that have ever been made, uh, to be number six is pretty, uh, you know, pretty much up there. Uh, lastly, the number of awards that it received. Uh, I think it received seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, uh, Best Director. But one of the major awards that I think uh, was given is that uh, Hattie McDaniel, who played Mammy in, in Gone with the Wind, was awarded uh, Best Supporting Actress, and she was the first African American to ever win an Academy Award, so I think that's important as well. We also found comments from critics that support the thought that Gone with the Wind is one of the best movies ever. Many of these comments praise that Gone with the Wind is a towering landmark of film, a monumental leap for movies, or just an epic drama.